I'm just going to look at the two uh, ones that need to run through the fuse board. There's this pink cable here. It's number 17. This goes back to my replay knocker. And the replay knocker is actually, you know, it's quite far back. It's in the uh, the back box. So this is sort of the control. It's going to run through a fuse. Doesn't matter what number. Number one. So I was testing it. And then from this end, is going to come out to one of these. These are high power outputs. So it's, the 17 is going to go in here. And go through the fuse and into one of these. So I've added some, uh, I don't know what these are called. I'm tempted to make up my own name, um, little pointy things. And uh, so these are going to be wired into the fuse board. They're not actually going into this. They go into this and then this goes into here. So I'm just going to do the pink one, which is my replay knocker in the first one, which is number one. And... It just goes in there. It's funny, of all the tools I have, I don't have a little precision screwdriver. I've got this little one, it's too little though, it doesn't really turn them. So I'm gonna have to come back. And then the blue one is for the shaker motor. You'd think I'd space them out to make it easier for me, wouldn't you? All right, let's do number three. Oh, bugger. Stupid. Ah, uh, see, jobs are so much easier if you have right, the, the right lemon tools. Okay, I actually found a little screwdriver. So I'm going to do one and three. Oh, tricky, tricky, tricky. So back off number three. Put that in there. So I'm just going to review what I've done because I just want to stop for a bit and I just need to think on it to make sure that I'm, I'm doing this right. Uh, this pink one here goes to the uh, replay knocker. It goes to the negative side, if you will. Uh, it's got the number 17. It runs into my fuse at point number one. I've actually just kept the same colors and the same numbering. So it's going from out of my fuse into pin number one, high powered pin number one. And then the blue, the blue is the negative of the motor, comes into the fuse position number three. Again, I've kept the blue, kept the numbering, comes out of position number three, goes into pin num high powered pin number three on the pin skateboard. So I think that's right, but I am gonna look at the book, I'm gonna look at the guide, and I wanna make sure that I'm wiring it correctly. So the red one is the positive one, plus 12 it's going to go to here and then my power for the replay is actually in the back box the 36 amp one 36 volts 36 amps is a lot okay time for a quick progress update i uh, installed the uh, rotary encoder the volume control you can see it had little those minch little things that I do not like. So I replaced it, I put the, uh, the connector in, connected real wires to this, and this goes back to the uh, the pinscape. I'll uh, show you underneath. So this is underneath, you can see the little rotary knob. There's also a push button, which uh, I can, I don't know, I can set for anything as a button, maybe night mode or anything, anything I want. So that's cool, that's in. So the uh, awkward thing was that I had to actually run more wires back through this. I had to take this all out um, and then run back up to the pinscape. So I've started the process of doing a little bit of wiring into this, uh, sort of separating the wires on this side. These are lamps. They can be connected to the power side of things. And then this bunch here is mostly switches or buttons as they're called on the pinscape. So each of these do different things, the start button, the launch button, flipper, and they connect on that one through eight, and then it goes actually nine through 24. So all on this side. So these will be routed this side, 
this will be about this side. Then I'm going to bring in some power from here to the board. And that, that'll be it. You know, it's, it's coming along swimmingly. Hope you don't mind. I'm not doing a work in progress video. It's really just, it would have just been the camera on a tripod and hyperlapse and me bending over wiring, which is not that exciting. But so I'm just periodically doing some status updates. I'll be honest, this is kind of selfish because I'm really doing this more for me to keep track of things. Um, if you're following along, that's great. But this video is really my sort of documentation log. I've powered up my power switch, my power bank, if you will. So on this side, this is power that's coming in from the power supplies back there. Actually, the terminal things here. Uh, I've always kept yellow as my 12 volt, red as my 5 volt. I've got two blacks, common wires, running back to the power supply. Just because two is better than one. And on the other side, it did the same thing. I have two black wires going to this black common terminal down here. I have two black wires going to the pin skateboard. Now the pin skateboard actually has two inputs for ground. Um, so, you know, that I thought, well, why not? And then obviously I've got my red five volt input, 12 volt coming into the pin scape. Uh, so that's all wired up. I also added another five volt wire it goes to my board that's going to be powering my, uh, it's not going to be powering it, controlling the LEDs. So one thing you notice from the last video is actually re remove some of the cabling, the position of it. I'm running these power cables at, at the back here. So I've got these switches here. This is for the, uh, the lamps of the various, the four buttons are going to be wired. They could actually be wired right next to these guys. Or start at one, maybe one. And then on this side are all the switches, all the buttons, and they're going to be wired over here. You can see the button inputs. There's one through eight on this side, and then it actually continues nine through 24. The only thing that I'm sort of pondering now is all these button wires cross over these power things. I, I'm just thinking about interference. I think I'm overthinking about interference. I don't think it's an issue. But, you know, other than that, it's routing them around, but I don't know. So this is uh, this is going really well. You can see I'm wiring to these banks. I'm not plugging these in because I don't want anything connecting it. I want to be I want to treat this carefully. You know, um, I have a lot of static electricity in my body. I should actually be grounded when I'm working with this. So I try to be very careful not to touch any sort of componentry. So even though these are kind of wide, they're not nothing's connected. Power's obviously all off. And uh, so it's coming along. It's really now going through pinning these guys and then attaching them to the different banks at the this over here and over here. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's going well. Who's ready for another wiring update? Oh, pick me, pick me. OK, so let's start on the left hand side here. Uh, I have uh, wired these guys in. I just want to point out something, just, you know, I mentioned the other day about making sure you have enough wire. Well, I didn't on three occasions, so I actually had to join extra wire together three times, actually, which is, you know, three times too many. So I cut the wires too short when I routed them through here. They didn't reach, so I had to add wire, which is a pain, but that's okay. And then... Uh, Remember the last video I had had all the wires coming through here and I was worried about crossing over. So I actually just fed them out and then fed them up on this side. It did take a while. Um, so basically up on this side, uh, the three, the four wires for the lamps. These are my power inputs. These two uh, through the fuse for the shaker motor and the replay knocker. And then a couple over here with like from the flippers, they wire in here. I haven't sort of kind of put them in, but not really. And then these are all my button inputs, which are going to be joined to these guys. So I'll put it on hyperlapse just to show me doing it, I guess. But I'm pretty close. The home stretch on the wiring is there for the front part. I've still got to connect everything up the back, but uh, it's looking really clean. It's nice. It's going to be a mess soon because... Um, I've got another board here which is going to have all the amps for the sound system. So uh, that's, you know, that's why it's important to keep this clean. 
and it looks like there's plenty of space, but gosh, I'm going to be using it up. So let's set the camera up. So I'm going to say it's about 96% complete. The reason I'm leaving some wiggle room is because I, I do want to clean these up where they use cable ties, push them through there so there's no sort of excess sort of hanging around, but um, that's cosmetic stuff that I can do later on. Um, I've still got to end up wiring some input controllers from the LED strips once they're installed, put some fuses in. Uh, I did actually burn out a fuse. I was testing the shaker and it blew a fuse. So, yeah. And Pinscape board, you can see, it, I mean, it looks complicated and I think because it is, but it's, you know, having those numbers has been super helpful. Uh, I've been making copious sort of notes, changing a lot of things. I don't know if you watched the video, but you can see that I change things on the fly. Um, but uh, overall, I think it looks great, but it doesn't really matter how it looks. It's still got to work. So I am going to do a bunch of different testings with the multimeter, make sure I've got continuity, um, just tabbing everything else with the ground and making sure it's all good once once it's all sort of installed. But for the most part, I'm thinking about moving on to the next step, which might be the audio or the LED strips. Oh, stay tuned. Here we go.